EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, Madden fans, and welcome to the Madden NFL 12 Playbook. We got six major feature announcements all leading up to the launch of Madden NFL 12 on August 30th. But this year, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We brought in Sam Bradford, Reggie Bush, Darrell Revis, Clay Matthews, and even our Hall of Fame cover athlete, Marshall Falk, to walk you through some of these major, major improvements. And even better, we're doing it inside the Emmy Award winning ESPN Virtual Playbook. So you'll actually get to see us and our favorite NFL players on the field talking about Madden. Enjoy. One of the most important fundamentals in the NFL is the art of a tackle. Now in Madden NFL 12 this year, we've completely changed the way tackles work and we've brought in Clay Matthews of the Green Bay Packers to walk us through a tackle. Now in this situation, we've got Matthews going against Forte. Now Clay, what exactly is going through your mind at the impact? Well, as you see here, it's one-on-one -on -one with the back. You know, if I don't stop him, it's a touchdown. So coming in here, I can't be too uh, eager or anxious to make the big hit. Uh, I got to come in there, wrap him up, bring my hips, and take him to the ground. Good to know. Sounds like solid tackling fundamentals. Now, in this situation, let's assume you've got some backside coverage. You know you got some defenders behind you to help pick up any slack. Is there a situation when you may want to go for a strip or you may, may want to get a little aggressive with a hit stick, for example? Absolutely. That's when you can take your chances, you know, employ that hit stick ability and, and try and knock the ball out create a big turnover, um, and there's no bigger play when you can take the ball and give it to your offense and put some points on the board. So we've got, of course, you and Forte here. Now, do you, do you go into a tackle situation against other back types and treat things a little bit differently? You know, with an agile back, are you, are you a little more careful? Are you breaking down a little bit earlier you know, before you make that impact, or are you just going every time and try to make that hit? Well, each and every week, you know, you study your backs. You, you have your bigger backs and Brandon Jacobs, you know, your shift, shiftier ones and Adrian Peterson, Chris Johnson. So you got to know who you're getting yourself into. And, uh, um, you know, the bigger guys, you got to take them down low. But, the, you know, some of the smaller guys, you really have to wrap them up, the shiftier guys. So uh, it's really a challenge each and every week. Unlike years past where you would see the defender suction several yards in order to engage the ball carrier to start a tackle, now a tackle won't start until true collision is made between the defender and the ball carrier. In this case, you'll see Jonathan Vilma about to tackle Rashad Mendenhall. And as you can see, there's no sliding, the players aren't starting to bend or transform until the tackle is actually starting. In the background, we have Greer about to add on to the gang tackle, and his impact is going to affect the actual outcome of the tackle that triggers. Because Greer is bringing so much momentum, he knocks the players backwards. And unlike previous years where he might just bounce off or to fall to the ground or not have any effect at all, he affects the outcome of the play. One of the most frustrating things for me in past matches has been the fact that balance doesn't seem to matter. On this play, Pierre Thomas breaks a tackle from Troy Palomalo and is forced to put his hand down to try to maintain his balance. That sets him up to be an easy target from a backside defender. Casey Hampton will come into the pitcher and hit Pierre Thomas and drive him down into the ground. We preserve momentum on every collision and weight plays a huge role in the outcome. In this case right here, you can see Pierre Thomas about to be tackled by James Ferrier. And he doesn't run him over like he's some little DB on the field. He gets stood up by Ferrier. What you're also going to witness is the second defender adding on. And his momentum will carry through and drive Pierre Thomas to the ground. In Madden NFL 12, not only do we have the new tackling system, but it's all about the timing of when the animations trigger. So now, that tackle animation isn't going to happen until that very last second, to that point of impact. And here to help me demonstrate that is my man Marshall Falk, Madden 2003 cover athlete, the first cover athlete to get the bronze treatment in Canton. So congratulations on that. Now let's look at this, Marshall. So tell me, what's going into your mind as you approach a one-on-one -on -one defensive situation? Well, it's like you were saying, Anthony, it's all about timing. And what I want to know is, I want to know where the defender is, and I want to know who it is that's getting me. If it's a defensive back or a linebacker. If it's a linebacker, I want to use my juke move. I want to slow him down and then use my explosiveness to get away from him because I want to allow him to get close to me in that comfort zone where he could tackle me. But if it's a DB, something that I always like to use, which is the spin move. That allows me to get close to him, make him think that I'm going to run him over, and then right before the impact, I can provide the spin and get away out of danger. In Madden NFL 12, we've completely revamped the tackling system. So to be able to counter that on offense, you're going to have to keep your defender off balance and take advantage of his momentum. So nobody better than Reggie Bush from the New Orleans Saints to walk us through what goes through his mind when he's taking on a defender one-on-one. -on -one. So Reggie, let's take a look and let me know what you're thinking. Um, well, anytime you're facing a cornerback, you know that you're facing a guy who has the ability to react a lot faster than, say, a down lineman or a linebacker. So 
you know that when you're going to give him a juke move, it's going to have to be a pretty good juke move. You want to get him off balance um, because, like I said, he can react faster. So for me, the first thing I want to do is uh, give him a good move, either left or right. Uh, hopefully, he's off balance enough to where um, I can break a tackle and, and keep running. So the key there is take advantage of your speed. You know, if you can break him down, yeah. see where he's leaning, then you can decide which way you want to go. Yes, you want to take advantage of your speed and uh, your quickness. So how does that change then if it's a Brian Urlacher or a Clay Matthews? What if you're one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker that is a little bit bigger, a tougher body to get around? Well, like I said, when you're facing a linebacker, you're facing a guy who's bigger, um, he's not going to be able to re react as fast as, let's say, a cornerback. So I know that I can, my juke move doesn't have to be uh, as hard, and I can also beat him with speed, too. So I know that going against a bigger guy, give him enough of a juke move just to get him off balance a little bit and hopefully just beat him with speed. And when is there a situation when you know, hey, I got to use my stiff arm here? Is it when you got that somebody off balance? Yeah. Or how do, when do you decide this is the right time for a stiff arm? Um, a stiff arm is, is more kind of a reactive thing. So I would say, um, you know, if, if a guy is, is coming at you from the side, you know, use a stiff arm. Um, if you also, you juking a guy and you're about to break the tackle, but you're, you're not, you know, quite there yet, you can use him just to kind of push him off of you a little bit too. So a stiff arm, like I said, is kind of reactive. There you go. So speed, momentum, keeping your defender off balance. That's how Reggie does it, and that's how you'll do it in Madden NFL 12. One of the biggest improvements to this year's game is the zone coverage logic. And here with me to help show that off is superstar cornerback Darrell Rivas from the New York Jets. Darrell, we got you into cover two here against Tom Brady and the Patriots. Walk me through what your assignments are on this play. All right. My first responsibility is to jam the receiver and funnel him inside. Uh, then play deep to short based on the uh, receiving routes. Uh, as you look at this clip right here, uh, I'm playing deep to short and I see the tight end release out fast. So, uh, you know, when Tom had Randy Moss, uh, you know, they, it was more deeper routes down the field, but now he doesn't have him no more. He has, he has to utilize uh, his tight ends. So when, uh, you know, you played against the Patriots a couple times last year, mm -hmm. did, did you miss Randy Moss when he left? You didn't miss him. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I mean, he, he is a great player and um, I was kind of shocked that they let him go, but you see, uh, you know, they, they get players in there, and um, Belichick does a great job, and he utilized those guys uh, very well. So there you go. You heard it from Darrell Rivas. I know a lot of you guys out there like to abuse the flats. Darrell's coming for you if you try it again this year. I'm coming. On this play, we've got quarterback Sam Bradford picking apart some of the great new logic we have this year. Now, Sam, how were you successful in this play? Well, on this particular play, I was working a simple two-man high-low against the weak side linebacker right here. As soon as I saw the weak side linebacker settle his feet and take my crossing route, I knew I was going to throw it to Clayton over the middle. Um, amazing work. I mean, our logic is incredibly realistic, and the fact that you were able to go through your progressions and still find that open receiver was amazing. As I was playing, though, and as I was watching, I loved the deep ball. I noticed towards the back there, we've got a wide receiver that's in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Is that an option as well? It definitely is. It's something that you can take a look at pre-snap. If you like that matchup, don't be afraid to let it rip. <laughs> it's good to know. So, uh, you know, Zone coverage, incredibly realistic this year, but if you go through your progressions and you follow the fundamentals that NFL quarterbacks use each and every Sunday, you can still have a lot of success. Madden NFL 12. True to the franchise. True to Reggie Bush. True to Clay Matthews. True to Reva Island. True to the game.